Hey guys and welcome to a brand new video. I'm Joe if you're new around here or Captain Goodspeed and make sure you click that subscribe button if you want daily sports and retro gaming content. Today we have another first look and review of Tennis World Tour. One year on from uh, what happened last year. My biggest video on the channel uh, will be in the top right. But today they, they re-released uh, the game. Uh, branded the Roland Garros edition. Now I forked out 33 quid or whatever on this game and uh, for reasons we'll say in a minute that's a little bit annoying uh, to say the least. Um, so they released a new trailer obviously added uh, Rafa uh, Nadal. They also uh, added Christina uh, Mladenovic. M m no idea, <laughs> no idea how to say her name. I'm not that that good on the W T A T A side to be honest, um, uh, and pronunciations in general. And they've added the Roland Garros, uh, sort of major to the career mode, three courts, and they've added centre court from the Madrid Open as well. Um, but essentially, what you were buying, if you were buying this disc version and you already have Tennis World Tour, you are wasting your time because. There is um, a Roland Garros pack, uh, which we can have a little look at uh, on the PlayStation Store. There is a Roland Garros pack uh, for fifteen ninety nine, so you can get everything um, that is in today's game uh, in that little pack there, I believe. Uh, don't quote me on it, but I think that is... Uh, what it is that there's all you can also just buy the stadium pack without Rafa and, and Christina if you want. Um, but uh, Rafa Nadal is also downloadable for free for the next few weeks, I think. Um, maybe not in Europe actually, I think that might have ended today. So, uh, apologies about that. But, um, yeah, it, it is essentially the same game, it's a re release, but you know. What does that mean? Uh, that this game has come a long way in the last year, I would say. So we're going to jump in, uh, jump into an exhibition uh, now. I might do some side-by-side -side gameplay as well, uh, so you guys can see um, the, sort of the the difference between the the, the two games uh, from sort of last year. But it is essentially the same game. I actually had to uh, delete the. Um, last year's game to install this because it wouldn't install the same game twice so that that was a bit of a giveaway to be honest but you know we've got Rafa Nadal in there now uh, which is always fun uh, I don't know how many outfits has he got uh, he's got a couple we'll stick him in his blue one because that's what he's been wearing recently I'll uh, stick him on legend difficulty uh, and we'll play it on Shatray so uh, where is it so there's the C Simon Mathieu court. We've got the Suzanne Longland as well, and the uh, Philip Chatre uh, court in the game. So let's uh, let's go for it. So we'll go for three. Um, we'll go for one set. Uh, three three sets. Why not? Um, three games uh, in the set. Just to give you guys a quick look at the gameplay. So. You know, if you've made it this far in the video, <laughs> then, you know, you've got more commitment than some people. This game got a hell of a bashing last year for, you know, right and wrong reasons. I don't think it was as bad as people were saying, but I, you know, charging 60 quid for what was an unfinished game, you know, <laughs> you can question the morality in that. But the game has come a long way in the last year, and I'm sure you'll see that right in this video now the two will be able to dictate the flow of play so uh yeah don't, the, the message of the day don't be a mug like me and spend 30 quid on something that you can get for 16 quid but uh you know at least i got the nice box art and stuff <laughs> which for a collector like me is is all right <laughs> but uh, i'm going to stay quiet for the the first game and and you guys can have a listen to the game sound Could he miss that backhand? Fifteen all.
15-30. He got an incredible angle with that one. 30. All. Oh. That's the mark of a true champion. Well, there you go. First game, we win uh, 1-0. A couple of aces in there. Okay, it looked a little bit weird. Uh, this is something I love, by the way. Uh, the, the sort of Rafa Nadal tick. Unfortunately, they haven't got his grunt in there uh, at present, but I'm sure that'll come in, in a future patch. Um... Because uh, I'm pretty sure all the players before had Rafa Nadal's grunt. Uh, but I can't seem to hear that anymore. But as you can see, the players make uh, unforced errors now. Which was a thing that plagued the uh, the, the first release of the game. Uh, the, the players just... Or well, the, the AI never made mistakes, basically. So you just had to... Um, and absolutely play them off the court. But... Uh, no, they've uh, they've got uh, Nadal's technique going pretty well. That was a wonderful serve, by the way. Um, but don't let this fool you. This this game isn't easy. I've been playing it for a year, so um, <laughs> you know that's how I'm currently beating a legend AI at the moment. The only player I haven't beat is is Roger Federer on this game. So, and I guess D Nadal in the career mode as well. Um, but you can see you can have some nice rallies with the AI now. But uh, three break points already in this match, which is, is quite crazy. But, um, yeah, the, the, the line guards also, um, you know, say out or whatever. It used to be the umpire that said it. So, you know, they've added, you know, little things. Okay, these things should have been in the game at the start of uh, release. But, whatever. So we're now serving for the match. And uh, I'll show you the career mode very, very quickly. And uh, the character creation as well in this episode. Because we won't be doing uh, any sort of character creation. I think I'm just going to continue with, with my career mode. Uh, for this, I'm not starting all over again on the same game. But I've done 70 videos on it so far, so I think you can appreciate that. Possibly making a little bit too many mistakes now, and not many mistakes from us. I don't know whether that's just because we're timing the ball particularly well. Maybe if we time it, try and time it late. Let's see what happens. Hmm. Just sort of. Let's try an early one. Yeah. Amazing. A boxer's forehand. But uh, I think the graphics have improved a lot in the last year. Uh, certainly in game, some of their screenshots were were a little bit questionable. But um, you know, in game, I think the graphics are pretty good. Uh, we do now and again have sliding on the clay. Okay, we don't have probably as much as we should, but uh, it's not bad. Uh, and they've they've reproduced 15, the stadium 30. fairly well, I would say as well. Um, I think this game is is leaps and bounds ahead of AO Tennis. Uh, played that again a few weeks ago, and just wasn't impressed whatsoever. Have a lot more fun playing this, and I always have done. You know, ever since I played this last year, um, I've had more fun playing this one. 15, so. 40. Even in its troubled release. And despite many people claiming that I was paid by the developers or whatever, I was not. Uh, I think that's, <laughs> you know, displayed by the fact that I've, I've just forked out 33 quid on a DLC, basically. Um, but, you know, people will say what they want. I've never been paid by a developer to do anything, so. Okay, I've been given free games by... Uh, some developers, but not this one. I actually contacted them and asked for a review copy for this game. Um, they said there wasn't any review codes as of yesterday. So, even though a few weeks ago they said, "Oh, we'll we'll give you a week before release," but uh, 
Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. We'll see if I have any more contact with them. Oh, lovely. That's a lovely serve He's from really Rafa. Every corner of the court. 15, 30. And, uh, yeah, I just realised that we did get broken there. But, um... <laughs> And apparently they've added new outfits and stuff as well, so we, we can have a look in the career mode and, and see if we can spot any of those in the store. But, uh, yeah, so basically I would say, if you've currently got Tennis World Tour, obviously don't buy the disc version of this game. But, uh, you know, check out the, the, the expansion pack, maybe wait for a sale on it, I'm not entirely sure. Um, you can, depending on where you are in the world, I think you can still download uh, Rafa Nadal free. So, you know, and I think most people will be more excited about that from this DLC, and obviously the Roland Garros uh, Grand Slam event as well, which starts this weekend. So perfect timing for this game to come out, really. Um. But, uh, you know, I hope you can see how far this game has come in in, in the rallies and uh, whatever. And, and, and career mode's a little bit better than it was as well. So if you haven't, you know, seen any Tennis World Tour for, for a year since I did that first video, then, you know, maybe check out some of the videos on it. See, see what you like and, uh, you know, try and maybe... What I would suggest is get a, a version of Tennis World Tour for a fiver and then buy the expansion pack and already uh, um, <laughs> you're virtually at what's in the game uh, for 20 quid rather than 33. I mean, this is ridiculous. What what a rally. I think this has been over 50 shots because I think that's what that trophy's for. Oh, what a shame. 62 shots. And we have won. And that was match point as well. That is that is insane. But we have won it. Um, and there you go. There's some of the stats. So eight unforced errors from Nadal in the end. Only one from us. Um, you know, whether that says more about the, the game or, or how we played, I don't know. But these are all the players that you can play as. So we've got Nadal, Federer, Zverev, Team, Isner, uh, Sitsipas. Uh, Kachinokov, uh, Gasquet, Bautista, Gu, Kyle Edmund, uh, Goffan, Monfils, Fonini, uh, Raonic, Dimitrov, Puil, Kyrgios, uh, Tier 4, or Tier 4, I think, uh, Warinka, uh, Shardy, uh, Fritz, uh, Hyun Chung, Mo, <laughs> uh, Ima, no idea. Kokonakis, uh, Andre Agassi and, and McEnroe if you had the Legends Edition last year. But if you do buy the, the disc version, they're also on that. So, if you have a hankering to play as John McEnroe a lot, then, you know, there you go. Uh, Angelique Kerber's in there as well. Uh, Wozniacki, Madison Keys, uh, Muguruza, um, Mladenovic, uh, no idea. Mladenovic. There we go. And Eugenie Bouchard. Um, who I like. I like uh, Eugenie a lot. Um, and there's us. <laughs> so, you know. Uh, anyway. Uh, I should probably show you the, the, the courts as well. So we'll, we'll quickly show you those. Um, so, there's four difficulty levels. Amateur, up and coming, professional and legend. Uh, speak for themselves really so uh, we've got supreme stadium which is virtually wimbledon uh, got dubai oasis big five stadium uh here's some of the clear court ones although none of them really matter as much as the roland garros and the uh, madrid open one and then we've got the millennium stadium which is basically uh the rod laver arena uh Copa cabana stadium uh just some of the hard courts here uh, and the Paris Major, I think, is meant to be the, the US Open uh, on this game because it takes place in September. It's a major tournament, so um, there you go. And obviously there's some some things on here like uh, loss of accuracy, depending on wind, all of that sort of thing. So uh, some some cool uh, courts and things. You can make uh, your own custom tournament uh, if you wish as well. Um, we're not going to look at that today. 
Uh, so you, you can obviously create up to uh, 20 players, I think. Um, you know, for career mode, I just randomly made that guy uh, to show you uh, or to, to see if the career mode had changed a lot for new players. But if we have a look at the creator player, obviously you can uh, select these sort of things. You can change your height, and it's quite cool. It, it changes your serve and stamina depending on how high you are. Uh, you can be muscular or athletic as well. Um, you can also choose from a variety of heads, uh, <laughs> which is cool. You know, character customization is uh, a lot better now. You can also edit the face, uh, the eye color, the skin color. Those were already in the game, I think. And then from here, you can start to um, really sort of narrow in on your player, make them as unique as you want. Make them look as ugly or as beautiful as you care. Let's give them a nice little little mouth there. <laughs> so you can be a righty or lefty, one-handed or two-handed backhand, uh, forehand style, classic or whip. There's a number of serve styles as well, uh, which you know I think is is quite nice. Um, serve rituals are, are quite funny as well. You, know, you can change uh, your sort of build up to the serve. Uh, you can change your attitude, so expressive, impassive, or focused. You can change your type of groan. Let's have a listen. So there you go. You can change how often uh, you groan as well. You can change your name. You can change your age. So you, you can, if you want, be... Uh, how old can you be? A 40-year-old tennis player in the United Arab Emirates. <laughs> so there you go. That's the character creation as well. We will just uh, dip into the career mode just to show you, um, you know, what you can expect. Uh, oops, that's on the uh, character creation screen. So there's a tennis school uh, as a tutorial. Plenty of online modes as well. Uh, but career mode is, is what I play and what I enjoy playing. Uh, but here you go, this is the main career screen. So there's uh, tournaments that you can play in, um, exhibition matches, meetings with coaches. You can do extracurricular stuff like photo shoots, um, video game contracts, that sort of thing. And that'll give you extra money uh, to buy clothes with uh, and stuff like that. Or you can rest, which is an important feature of this game. If you can see at the top, we have a stamina bar uh, underneath um sort of uh our name and xp and whatever but uh so you need to need to do that to keep your performance up there's this many tournaments you can do two a month so you can see roland garros is in there and this is already on a career mode so you don't need to start a new save we've got the the actual madrid open as well so hopefully they'll add in uh, more um licensed tournaments but there's there's plenty to get your teeth into you've got wimbledon you've got the technically US Open as well uh, and the Australian Open there and you can see uh, there's the uh, rankings uh, Rafa Nadal is in here um, I did have a, a scout through before he's down at number 28 uh, if you start a new career though he will be at number one um, they've just added, added him in somewhere random on this and, and he'll obviously uh, make his way up to, towards the, the top of the rankings I would imagine uh, very quickly so uh, I think that is where we're gonna leave it for today oh I was gonna check the new outfits and things so let's uh, let's let's check that out can I do that on me player yet or maybe I have to go back to this menu um, my player we'll look at uh, him we'll see what they've added in terms of equipment So, store. It looks like they have added a few Wilson ones in there. Which is awesome. So there's plenty of rackets to choose from. Racket heads as well. Uh, and as you can see, they have added uh, some Wilson ones in there. Which is cool. Uh, some uh, dampeners um, in there. So there's some some awesome uh, Wilson ones which I'll be getting my hands on I think 
I've got some grips as well. Uh, caps. I want a bandana. That's that's what I want. Um, they haven't added in any bandanas yet for for purchase, which is a shame. Uh, T-shirts and a lot of different T-shirts in there. Uh, wristbands, you know that. So there's plenty of customization in there. Uh, I've still got my original outfit. Uh, I'm, I'm horrified to say. Uh, we've got the uh, socks as well, uh, all the way down to trainers. So there you go. That is uh, everything that you can do in Tennis World Tour. Uh, there's obviously some current ones that I already have uh, that I'd unlocked. Oh, there's there's a new pair. Lovely. Lovely. Right. Let's see if they've uh, added in a bandana here. Not not quite. Not quite. They've added in the McEnroe thing. Although I think that was in the, the Legends edition anyway. Um, yeah, I'm just trying to see. I don't think they've added in anything else for... Um, you know, having a certain edition or whatever. So... Yeah, that is that. And obviously you, you buy all of those clothes with in-game currency that you win by winning tournaments and, and stuff like that. So that is where we're going to leave it for today. That is a first look and review of the brand new, or well, in quotations, brand new Tennis World Tour Roland Garros Edition uh, game. Uh, so if you've enjoyed it, make sure you leave a like. Let me know down in the comments what you think. My honest review is the game has come uh, a long way in a year. So if you haven't picked up Tennis World Tour yet, it's uh, it's quite a nice addition to pick up. It's got some you know extra freebies in there and whatever that you would normally have to pay for. I would probably wait until it comes down in price a little bit. But you know it's a fun tennis game either way. If you love tennis or whatever, thirty quid isn't that much to pay for a game but as i said try and get it for a fiver somewhere and then buy the the, the add-on packs uh just to avoid spending a little bit of money so uh yeah as i said leave a like if you have enjoyed subscribe for daily sports and retro gaming content i will be uh, restarting my career mode uh, today later on today for this game so make sure you check that out and i hope you guys are having a wonderful day thanks for watching and Goodbye.